All right. Um, welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the Hawk Moth Project. I uh, <clears throat> I was a little bit busy with the dock today, so um, so let's get started on this. First thing I need to know. Uh, first thing I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna tell you all right, uh, all right is that I need to find a way to get. Fuzzy hair, mmm, on the top of the tail. So that's the idea that I'm gonna be trying to get for. So I need to find a way to get fuzzy hair in the uh, in the thing itself. So that's one of the things that I'm gonna be trying to do. Um. So yeah. So what I'm gonna do first is gonna be finishing off these crystals and once the crystals are finished I am then gonna be looking to see what I or how I'm gonna do that or how I'm gonna be accomplishing those type of um, those type of uh, well I uh, those type of I'm so bad with words today. Um, those type of drawing, yes. So first, I'm gonna be fin finishing off the crystals. Then I'm gonna be finding out how I'm gonna be able to get fuzzy hair involved in this. Because I need to have fuzzy hair on the top because it's a moth. I have been speaking to Hex Harper about this. Like he said that that is a good idea. To do, that's a good idea to do. So I will do that as well. So that will be more. Oh hey Mark, I'm back for my bird watch. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna be figuring out how to do that, and then. Afterwards, I then will be able to finally focus on getting the full bird view of it. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be going for an insect kind of look on it till probably. But first, let's finish off these crystals because that's the first thing I need to do, and that's finishing off these crystals. So yeah. Um, Mark, could you tell me if the quality of the stream is correct? So. If there is no blurriness in your uh, in your vision, because I switched around uh, one setting because I finally have better internet right now. If I'm correct, if I'm correct, I don't know if I'm correct, but if I'm correct, then yes, then that's true. Uh, Oh yeah, of course. Oh, that's not what I wanted, but sure.
So yeah, um, I hope a little bit rusty today, but that would be not too bad of a Let's reset this. There it goes. Much better. Um, so yeah, that's fixed. Now we're gonna go here. Excellent. Yes. So this is not just I need this. Just in case. So yeah, um So here is going to be fuzzy skin, so I need to make sure I don't do that all the time. Uh, now let's go. So yeah, um, let's see, so that's what I'm going to be doing, um, crystal 1, crystal 2, crystal 3, and now we do crystal 4, which is going to be like this, so we need some crystal. it the blend tool there it is all right so allow me to just double check something analysis suggestions no we don't need suggestions here from YouTube itself um,
guess it should be it should be fine then. I need to go here. Let's, um, let's okay. I think that was selected. So yeah, today I'm going to be looking forward to see if I can find a way to make fuzzy skin happening without uh, without switching tools. So I will try to do my very best upon getting the fuzzy tool not be there because I know that there is a fuzzy tool there. I just know it. And I'm not trying to not, you know, use it instead of uh, All right. Nah. Um. So today we're gonna make sure that we are now the crystals are done, which is true. Um. I want them a little bit more. I want them a little bit more darker. No, wait. That's not the right stroke. This one is correct. All right. Um. So yeah, we're gonna be. Oh, hey, space junk. If you ever wonder why dirt, birds, and insects are nice at flying, but mammals somehow never really got going, except bats. Um. I think it is because you know they didn't have to fly. So why would they adapt if they don't need to fly at all? So that's the idea. Like, uh, well, that's the idea I am thinking of. Like, because they don't have to fly, they don't have to. Um, they don't ha because they don't need to fly. They didn't develop the develop the means to do it. More like that. So because they didn't mean, because they didn't know how to fly, they didn't. They didn't have to. Would this work? Would this work? That's the biggest question. Would this, this type of hair, would this work? Would this man? This is gonna be a difficult one, isn't it? Because that means that I need to do a lot of stuff. And I need to realize, like, how much do I want of this to be fuzzy skin? So yeah, because they didn't have, because they didn't want to, fl because they didn't have to fly, they didn't develop the wings to fly. Like for instance, because the bat was actually a mammal that. Normally came from tree top to tree top to catch their food. You know, they develop the wings to get to get to get the food better. So, because, um, yeah, I think that's why. So because they de they developed the wings because they were necessary to catch the insects that they were hungry for. 
and so the bats develop the way of you know insects. So every single every single thing has its way. Like it's it's normal for a creature that is using evolution to realize it does things. Like for instance, whales. If you look at the pre ancestor of the whale, then you see a mammal that just is lo loving water really much. So because it loves water so much, it eventually develops into a creature that doesn't need any legs and only fins. So it's the same thing with a bird, or it's the same thing with a bird. So the bird is actually a reptile, and then, then it develops the wings because it was an easier way of transportation. It developed the wings because it wanted the insects, I insects it, g it got. And then eventually from the insect eaters it developed into a predatory into a predatory creature. Like um like what the like a hawk. Yes. So it developed talents and it developed a sharp beak. That way it could easy get the creature that it wanted to kill. So yeah, it, it all depends on the situation the creature lives in, so for instance, um, there is, uh, I don't know if you know this, but there are snakes that live only in water. And only produce, only lay their eggs on land and then just go back to water. These snakes are sea snakes, if I'm correct. They're highly venomous. Why? Because they are easy to kill. It's easy for fish to kill. Hey, Blue! But yeah, um, anyway, I have some good news to tell you guys. Uh, my, uh, uh, if I'm correct now, the internet is now working on uh, better quality, so this should now be 100, 180p correctly. So instead of not having 180 correctly, it's supposed to be. You're probably wondering what I'm doing now. I'm trying to draw fur. And I don't know if this is working, but... It is working for my part. I want to see like when do I want to draw the fur and how do I want to draw the fur. So I'm gonna put it on a little uh, Barrett. Nah, let's go for Barrett. Barrett is a good one to produce. To look at. Eh, no. Barriot. Nah, there it is. Ah, there he is. There he is. There is the bitch. There's the legendary dick. I was looking for him. Alright, and please give me a better look at it. No. Eh. There it is. Much better. Much better. So. I just picked up this because I needed something to look at. I was looking for something like... Uh, what was it? I was looking for this kind of thing. So I was looking for fur because uh, on the tail. So on the tail end of a fur, the fur on the tail end is actually necessary to, you know, I need to I need to figure out like how am I gonna do these segments of uh, the segments where the crystals are st uh, standing out of it and then fur is coming out as well. So that's the idea. But I need need to look for something that is actually quite good. So uh, maybe it's the red lesson that that ha that that has. Let's go for that one. Let's see if that one has it. Has it what I need? It does have this. It does have. It does have the hair on the back. So that's what I'm looking for a little bit. And I'm looking for the better option. So probably not here. Probably it's not here, right? Oh, there it is. So, can I zoom this in? That would be lovely. Can I just zoom this in, Wiki? Can I just zoom in? Alright, zooming in. There you go, I'm just looking at it. Hey, go away. So, how does this creature work? I'm looking for a way that the creature it itself, because of the skills that, uh, well, the crystals it has and the feathers it has, it needs to overlap with the fur. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a way that I can, you know, create the 
create a way to get the thing better up and running. So that's the idea. Anyway, continue here. Because I'm using the segmentation on the. Ooh, I need to put this back down. Thank you. So yeah. That's the idea anyway. Probably not the best idea, but. Um, so yeah, uh, let's see. I could first fill up this and then put additional feathers near it. Yes, first continue with the fur. Fur first continue with the fur. So this is all going to be fuzzy, so that's probably need to be blurred then as well because it's this fuzzy skin. No. Allow me to just draw it further away. And why am I not drawing this like in really close? Because then I cannot see if the fuzzy skin works. So yeah. I'm drawing this just because crystals the crystals overlap, which is correct. The crystals overlap, but they don't oh, I need to put here feathers on. So it would not make any sense. Hmm. Yes, so I need to put feathers here as well, so there need to be feathers. There also needs to be fuzzy skin because I need to have a moth problem. I need to have a moth aspect on it. Oh man, this is gonna be a difficult choice to do because I need to do that as well. So yeah, there he is. That aspect of long hair. Close and dense long hair it has, but I'm gonna go for short dense hair and then continue that with the parts. So I'm gonna be doing that um, across this part. So I need to put the tail line again. Tail please. Until yes, thank you. I need to put that. I need to put the fur. I need to put the fur around here. And then around about here as well. So it's gonna be around about here and then about here. And about here. And around about here needs to be fur. So it's gonna be on the top of the uh, of the bird. There's gonna be there's gonna be there's gonna be uh, fur. But I also need to combine that with feathers. So I need to figure out how to do that as well, because you know I'm not gonna be standing so And then I need to put it around about here, and then. Now uh, it stops. All right. Um, I have put the outlines on so that I know now where the hell I need to draw and when I need to stop. So yeah. Um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw some dense ass feathers. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna be first filling up until here. I'm gonna be filling it up so that I have you know room to work with and then. I'm gonna be designing feathers around the fuzziness so that there is gonna be fuzziness between the feathers in. Oh man, this is gonna be difficult. Mm, this is gonna be so difficult. I need some water. And where did I left that? Oh, I left it here. Right, juicy water. Mm. So, yeah. I'm gonna be working on this, and I don't need I don't need this. I need this. Yeah, I need this only. All right, let's go. So yeah, um, I hope I produce good quality here because you know the v I don't know if the video is doing great quality because YouTube is saying like, hey, you're not doing it right, and I'm like, no, I'm doing it right. I hope. 
my calculations were right, so it should be. Should now work properly. Should be proper HD, so I hope you all have good HD. I hope so. I can't test it right now because of, well, I'm doing too much then at the same time, which is terrible. So, yeah. Um, and you do. So, yeah. So, yes. Also, I don't know if you can hear me because I don't have tested yet. Oh, this is all so not happening again. Because I don't want to be again talking to myself all day long and I realize that nobody could hear me. That would be rude. That would be like, oh no. So, yeah. Because YouTube is actually quite doing. No need to worry. Your, your quality is flawless. Ah, thanks. Thank you, thank you, Mark. Quality is flawless. That means that it is good. Because that's what the problem is. I am also trying to figure out if I get my VR headset back online, because then I can actually sculpt in VR. But I don't know if it's. Uh, I don't know if I can find. Ah, uh, well, I need to have a DV VD, DVE. I need to have a HMD to DV cable, and then connect them both to my computer, and then I can do that. And I have three screens to work around with. Oh god, that's gonna be three screens then. Because the first screen is gonna be then the the thing, and then the other one is gonna be, and then the other one is for recording. Oh god, that's gonna be horrible. But it's gonna be great anyway. So yeah, 3D sculpting. Then I can do actually sculpting in 3D. I can show you off my great designs of VR sculpting, which totally backfired because I am not skilled at VR sculpting. Nope. I'm good at sculpting, you know, on on tablet and all that stuff, but I am gonna get a ZBrush soon, and I think in this year. It's only gonna be costing like $800 for a plug and ZBrush, so that's gonna be painful, but nothing better than just to improve, I guess. Also, after this tablet, it's gonna be, yeah, <laughs> working with multiple displays can get a little bit clumsy. Yeah, indeed. And after this, um, if this tablet dies, you know, if this tablet dies, so the one that I'm now using, this one was actually more like a test for me to see if I can work with a tablet, to draw with a tablet, or whatever. And so far, do you know, it exceeds my expe expectations. Uh, it exceeds my exp accept uh, ex eh, expectation. Exp Acceptations? Acceptations. Yes. It exceeded my acceptations. Uh, whatever. I think I just totally said that wrong, but oh well. So yeah, I'm gonna be doing that. So um, once uh, this one dies out, you know, or is no longer great, I will exchange this for the better design version with touchscreen and all that stuff. With its own, um, with its own driver, so you know I can have better processing power in it, which then works wonders. So yeah, and that one is then gonna be connected to the thing. Expectations, expectations. Ah, thanks. Ah, I actually hate it when I, I hit Control R. On my browser and and my browser resets because my cursor has been left. Yeah. Oh man, don't get me wrong on that one. I always hate it when I try to do backspace when I watch your live stream. It's like, and the live stream is gone. God damn it. And then I need to reconnect everything. Is this the? Is this the way? Am I using the right way? Oh man. Did come on, mouse, please work for me today. Yes. Does this represent fuzziness? Yes, it does, but it needs it needs more it needs more intense fuzziness. I need to do this more intensely. Oh man. Uh. 
This is going to be difficult. Yeah, this is going to be difficult. This is going to be difficult because I need to do what well, again? I need to I need to draw it like this then, right? I need to No, that's not what I need. I need, I need this. Uh, this is sorry about this, man. Sorry, but uh, this is wrong. This part is wrong. Wait, what the? La 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 nothing here is gonna be so all wrong. Everything is fine. I totally did not do it on the wrong layers. Holy hell. Holy Nelly. That's on the wrong layer. So yes, I did it on the wrong layer. What a surprise. I was not surprised about it, but I was surprised in any way. Everything is fine. So, yeah. So, I'm gonna be continuing now. <laughs> and now I'm doing it on the right layer. I had such a suspicious feeling. So I know now that I need to do it more densely. So I need to draw these things more densely so that I have the... Yes, there it is. I'm not supposed to leave a lot of gaps behind because that way it doesn't create the fuzziness. That was expected from me. But yeah. Distractions, they always happen. And if you did and if you do something wrong, then well you better learn from it. And I learned from it, like I instantly saw it happening, so I didn't lose that much progress. If I lost too many progress I would have known. <laughs> Lol for me spacebar. Want to move a layer too bad. You were in the other window and have scrolled to where you don't want to be. <laughs> yeah. I always have the problem when I'm trying to sell I I'm busy working on the layer and then I realize like I w in the middle of the middle of the work it's like I did it on the, definitely did it on the wrong layer didn't I and then this happens and I cannot remove this because it's a sketch and I want to have that sketch still there so yes does it represent more gr does this represent more hair li hair like yes. Because it's more densely packed, so it means that there is more uh, detail in the hair, and also I'm using a little bit more uh, harder, uh, harder, uh, not scratching, but harder pointing on the on the pencil to get the uh, right amount of shading inside of it. That way, I will have a fuzzy feeling towards my hair. It doesn't look like you know casual, beautiful hair, like you know. Oh man, this man has beautiful hair right there, yes. Yes, this man is like, hmm, I don't know, mm, yes, yes, his, his chin and such, and he has a tongue like this, yeah. Not like this, man, not like this doofy boy, no. This man does not, uh, this man does not have, uh, this man has different type of, this is how I draw different kind of hair. It's more like the hair that I need for the uh, um, fuzziness. For instance, um, panning, zooming, and rotation on the canvas is space. Control space, control shift space. I always fuck up those things when I leave my cursor in the wrong window. Oh, damn. 
That's annoying. I know that my canvas rotation is like this. Oh, I have it on the yep. There it is. Rotation speed. Mmm. And I now know also that I no, I don't want to scroll up. Go away. Shoo. Allow me to now. Now that's more easier. Why is this easier? Because now I can actually draw upwards, and upwards is actually easier than downwards because it is less of a painful movement for your uh, for your hand to be. It's still a cripple. Uh, it's still a cripple movement because you're doing like little movements at the same time. You're doing like twenty. I think 20 movements in, in one go and you're drawing like this so you're drawing like a map man but it works it works it just works people it just works so yeah um, don't mind me when I'm trying to draw fuzziness onto something and then you know I'm gonna add some more feathers towards it so yeah fuzzy fuzzy hair is fun too to pat and I always like it when, uh, when guys have bus cuts. <laughs> nice. My hair is like, uh, what is it called? Um, it's very, uh, not mucus. Yes, I will call it mucus. Because that's easy to explain. So my hair is like a very thick, full of mucus, mucus which then... Uh, gives this um, shining on the ha uh, on the hair, but the problem is that it leaves like this. Uh, it it leaves the mucus on your hands when you touch the hair, so it's like it's like gel, but then um, you know, without the gel. So if I use gel with uh, with my hair, it's it stays in one in one place. I don't have to use any waxing power or anything else so I can make I can make an Elvis Pres uh, Pre uh, Presley look really easy if I if I ever want to but you know I can sing properly so I rather don't do that <laughs> do, 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 do. so yeah I hope you all have a great day, by the way, because I have I have increased my internet speed, yeah. So my streaming would be my streaming quality would be better, and since that my streaming quality will be better, that means that I can actually upload things pretty much good quality. Also, my live streams will then be better, which I'm very happy upon. The main problem with my live streams now right now is like the internet speed is the problem. Nothing else actually. The rest is actually quite good updated. My PC is like. 15 years old, but every single piece of it is still not 15 years old. It's only some parts, like the motherboard, the, the the main board, the main the main board, or how you call it, whatever. The the mom's board, yeah. Little little uh, configuration in my in my book. So yeah, the the that thing is like 15 years old, and the rest is not actually quite old, that old. The the first one I had of that main board was actually had actually a whitelist, and because it had a whitelist, I could not install uh, some of the graphic cards. So you know, people help. Well, the uh, ET company which I use normally for you know getting my stuff in a better quality helped me with you know getting a new one, and uh, it took me like what four hundred dollars to fix it. Yeah. So it was four hundred dollars in total uh, for the new graphic card, and then you know, five years uh, five years ago I switched to a new one, and this year, yeah, this year I also switched to a new one. So my PC is a little bit big. It is a big boy. It's a uh, it's getting it's a very cool one, and I really like it. I really love it, like a child. I really like my PC, and uh, it's uh, it's one of the things that I always liked. I always love my P I always love to play PC. So yeah, I don't think I know uh, you mean by mucus. Fat. There you go. The word fat. 
But I always I always think it is mucus, but hey neck. It's fat. It's the it's the uh it's the f it, it's fat in your hair, you know, it's it's thick hair, so it is very there is a lot of fat in on the on the um on the hair itself. Also it grows really rapidly, so my hair is like up in two weeks it's already back. So it's very annoying. When I try to have a bus cut and well it's the bus cut will be no more when in two weeks, you know, you already have like a lot of a lot of hair already going back up into the sky. So yeah. Oh you mean when the air is oily? Yes, something like that. But that that exactly that. So yeah, my hair like is very oily. It's uh, it's a very oily ty type of hair. It's really, really thick. It's really thick. It's n it's not a very good breathable air, uh, hair at least. It uh, always suffocates itself. It's really stupid. It's like, hey, I want to grow, but I don't have oxygen enough. Well, maybe you should not grow too much. I can't. Comp I don't know what you're talking about. I'm trying to do my very best to grow. I said you don't have oxygen because you're growing too fast. Oh, well, then that's your problem. No, 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 no. That's not my problem at all. So, yeah. Do you mean, uh, do you prefer long hair or short hair? Well, I don't know. I never tried long, I never tried. So, uh, both would probably stand me right. I have the face for it. Nah, nah I don't know. Maybe. But short hair I always had, but I like to have the medium hair. It's uh, it's way more cooler. The between is the between is better because then you can actually style it if you need to, or you want to. M more wanting than needing, actually. Eh, that that would work, and then put. Of course, mm, I have been blind. I have been blind. Yes. Mm. I have been blind here. I have been fucking blind here. Oh my god, this is so much. This is so much easier now. Whoa. Uh, read. Read. The word read. And I need to look for the uh, plant. Plant. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And then I need to go for that. Is that one? Yes. And then I need to go for that. And then. Yeah, there it is. There's me boy. Ah, look at it. Yes, yes. All right, and we're going back to looking at plants today. Oh my god. Um, so <clears throat> I didn't want to do this, but I had to. So let's let's zoom in. Blip. Can we zoom in on this? I want to see it. I want to see it and I want to see it big time. Yes. Ah, there it is. Beautiful. What do you mean it's beautiful? Well, uh, don't need that. Don't need that. Just look at the plant right here. Alright. So, this is the plant I'm talking about. It's called Reeds in the Marsh. Yes. This is the normal thing that ducks always go for. They love these things to pack out and use it for their nesting. Um, these things um, are very fuzzy. They are very fuzzy. They have like a fuzzy layer on it. So because we're using a moth, uh, which is fuzzy by the beginning, look at that creepy look at that creepy bastard of a moth. So yeah, these things are creepy. No, oh, well, uh, these things are fuzzy as well. So we're gonna use the fuzzy skin, like ah, perfect example. So we're gonna use the fuzzy skin to represent the. Uh, it's not gonna be a big hairy skin. It's gonna be more like a fuzzy skin, like the wreath. So it's gonna be like a layer. Uh, it's gonna be like a layer that's uh, that is fuzzy. With then the underneath, it's gonna be again the feathers underneath it, and then. 
after the big feather underneath it, we're gonna use smaller feathers. So, um, allow me to just put um, a second layer on this. All right, I will show you now what I mean. So, first we're gonna have big feathers. We're gonna use these these feathers. Oh, perfect, much better. So we're gonna use these feathers. We're gonna use first. We're gonna use these feathers, and then we're gonna use these feathers and then I'm gonna use just this you know the casual ones that we already have been using for a long time so what does this do um, one two three four five aha I'm learning what does this do well it creates this kind of um, late feeling that this thing is uh, that this thing is made on top of the feathers so it gives the effect of you know uh, a comb comb did I a comb comb is it a comb is it a comb is it a comb comb oh wait 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 comb way easier for me it's easier for you maybe not zoom back to original size and we're gonna look for images on cams uh, I'm looking for the brush Ah, there it is. So the fuzzy skin is gonna be on top of the uh, on top of the layer, on top of a harsh a harsh carapace, and then the uh, sac and then the feathers uh, between it are gonna be spreading like like so. So they are gonna be you know uh, I don't know if people are getting this, but you will see, you will see. You will see it is it is quite well really stupid combs I don't need them oh sure it's only for explanation so yeah they're gonna be like you know the hairy bits are gonna be on top then it's gonna be overlapped by tiny feathers which then can grow out into long feathers because you know some parts are uh, gonna be the crystals the crystals are gonna be stuck on here. I'm still thinking that I'm gonna put some more feathers on this side, but I don't have to because it's actually there, so I don't need to. But yeah, the feathers are gonna be like, you know, producing right here, and then, you know, you have a second layer of the uh, layer on top. So every single time we're gonna go here, we're gonna put here a line of feathers again, and then we're gonna here again. So we have a section of, uh, we're gonna have a section of fuzzy hair. And then a section of uh, feathers that cuts it into a segment, and then you know under under the comb is gonna be tiny little feathers, and then the tiny little feathers gonna be adding up until they are reaching this kind of feathery like approach. So that's the idea, at least. That's the idea. Uh, I just wanted to tell you what I was planning to do because you know it's important for me, important for you guys. So yeah, calm. Ah. Well, I only recently cut up comb. <laughs> I miss when uh, I miss when the read bill started uh, started so every uh, so every time someone says I'm so confused. <laughs> I used to like long hair and then realize how much work it is, and then so on. <laughs> Nice. Looks like sausages. Low. <laughs> That's where reed pills are made up. <laughs> uh, yep. 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 That's definitely where reed pills are made of. Um. So yeah, we're gonna continue now. We're gonna make. We're gonna make. Uh. Well, let's do this first one. Let's do this first. So, there's gonna be a second layer of. Uh, there's gonna be a second here, but I'm just gonna be doing casually. I'm gonna be continuing here so that I have a feeling how this is gonna be working. So, I know that this not, might not be the one, but uh, well, I can just do that. So, we're gonna be doing that. Ugh, trouble.
and we're gonna go here and then it needs to be right over here Oops. all right so we're gonna Go. So that's gonna be back again there. And now we need to focus on that way again, so we need to change everything. So what's worse, cap lock or num lock? Uh cap locks. Cap locks every single time. I swear. Those things will murder you. Especially if you want to type in your password or something. The bottom lo one that always locks the numpad because I always forget it's a thing and I panic half panic thinking half of my keyboard just magically stopped working. <laughs> I never have a problem with numlock because I don't use the numbers on numlock itself. I always go for the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, zero on the top side because you know most the only thing the only time I'm using it most of the time I'm using E S V D anyway and Q R E uh Q R E T uh T N N F G. So those are the numbers the, those are the key words that I'm always using. Especially if I'm playing games like uh, League of Legends or Dota. Both are like really heavily on the numbers. So yeah. Um, that's what I always pick. So caps lock it is because if I want to enter my password, username, or whatever, whenever I need to, it's always getting in the way. I don't know how it gets in the way, but it gets in the way always. Like, why am I not using the right password? I'm using the right password right here. I have written it down correctly. I know that I have written it down, just so why it's not working, and then. After 20 tries, I'm like, oh, why do I have to put password in And I'm like, hmm, I need to wait 30 seconds. God damn it. So, yeah. Do I need to pause it? I zoomed in too much? Probably. Should I lower it down a little bit? Yeah, much better. Or I can cover more with my mighty. And it's, it's a little bit too much. Yep. There you go. Much better. I think I did the same again, right? Yeah, I did the same. Car. I'm a little bit nitpicky here. So yeah, good, it's on the right layer, awesome, see, it's not that hard, just just thinking about, you know, putting things on the right layer, it's, it's not that hard, just follow your instincts once you're finally figuring out what you're doing and then, you know, uh, everything will ha go handy dandy. I almost thought like, holy hell, I did it again, right? I did it again, and I'm like, nope, I did it right this time. <gasps> Thank God. So, yeah. And I'm not even a religious person, so I'm thinking that I think, thank God, and I'm like, oh my God, I'm religious right now. Fuck. So, yeah. I do go to the, I do go to the church sometimes. But then it's only because of the food. Nothing else. Food matters. The food afterwards matters. Nothing else. Everybody can bribe me for food. That's so easy. Like, hey, you want some food? Yeah, please. I would love to test that out. Like, I don't want to go to the party. 
Yes, but we have food. Ah, all right, y you convinced me. It's so easy. I really like. I really like to go to some of the parties, you know. But that's not because you know of the food. It's because I need to learn how to be social. Because I'm a really terrible socialist when it comes to being social. Holy hell. I am lacking skills in that. I'm lacking in skills of talking to people and looking them in the eyes. Or starting a conversation or making even a joke. Oh, a joke, people. A joke that is actually funny towards normal people. That's like, holy hell. Well, normal. Everybody is not normal, but eh. Normal in my eyes. Yes, that's different. Of course I filled up that part. Uh, dessert. What types do you... What types can you not say no to? Uh... That's a tough one to call. That's a real tough one to call. What what type of dessert or what type of food I cannot say no to? Ugh. There are a lot of food that I really really like. But if I want to go for something like I cannot say no to, then it would be spare ribs. If extra, exactly. Spare ribs is one of my favorite kind of food I like to eat, especially if they are hot. I don't like them to be, you know, mildly, then I will say no, but if food like spare ribs or, oh my god, yachtschotel, yes, yes, the dish of the day, freshly catched wildlife and then put into a, di uh, put into a cooking pot with potatoes and, mmm, beans, ooh, yes, very tasty. Those things I uh, I always love. I love I love delicacies. I really love delicacies. They're really good. Like frog legs. Oh my god, those things are awesome to eat. I will always say no to frog legs. Why? Because they are so they are they, they taste so cool. They taste like waterly wa water chicken. Water chicken. Water. Yes, water chicken. It tastes like bloody damn chicken, but then, like, it has been soaked in water. It's, it's so yum. It's such a yum, yum flavor. Also lobster. Cooked lobster. Yes, please. All the time. I will not say no to lobsters and oysters. I will not say no to it. I really love it when I can combine that with uh, citronella, uh, with uh, citron. Or lemon. Yes, lemon is the word. Lemon, not citron. It's Jesus. That's French. We don't need French. We need only English. So, yeah. Um, so, yeah. There is a lot of food that I like. Same. I love chocolate shakes. Oh, chocolate. You know what? You know what's better than just looking at chocolate or uh, ordering chocolate? Going to a chocolate factory and then getting the chocolate. Then you will eat more chocolate because it tastes more better because you have seen the chocolate before and you get taunted by it. Mm. It's so funny that you can go to Belgium just to go see a chocolate factory and people are like, "Wait, you went to Belgium? Yes, it's not far." When do you mean it's not far? It's a, across the world. Yes, it's across the world for you, not for me. It's like uh, thirty. It's like two-hour drive. Oh no, two-hour drive, people! It's very scary. Uh, 
So yeah, Belgium is not a big deal for me. Germany is not a big deal for me because Germany produces such good, such cheap and good uh, food. Oh man, you should have seen the cafeterias there. They always give you salad. They always give you salad beforehand. They always give you salad. And it is very rude to eat not the salad because the salad is actually quite good because it's in your uh, it's in uh, it's in yogurt sauce in yo yo yogurt sauce yeah it's in it's in fresh yogurt so it's like very sweet it's sweet on the tongue oh. and then you have then you have the crop and you have the crop and then you eat the crop with vegetables and then oh and then the dis and then the food comes around schnitzels Mmm, so good schnitzels. They are always good. They are never bad. They're one of the German delicacies that are actually one of the best. Uh, one of the German delicacies that I like really much because they all are always freshly made, and some of the places I went to they even give you freshly made sauces with it like um how do you say that one it tink 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 oh da, da, da. ah yes currywurst yeah so that's also one um Sihöner sauce yes uh that's uh that's gyps gypsy sauce which is also a very good one mm. So yeah, they uh, they 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 produce gypsy sauce, which is like very sweet and champion uh, and, and, and yeah 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 they also they also do that mushroom sauce oh yes please freshly homemade mus uh, wood mushroom sauce oh that's also very good but yeah the gypsy sauce is also good because it's tasty and a little bit more pepper into it pepper sauce they also have so. Well, technically, it's called pepper sauce, but in Germany and in the Netherlands, it's not. If I'm correct, because it it does look like pepper sauce, but it isn't pepper sauce totally. It's more. Well, I'm not gonna be putting that on on a steak. So allow me to just zoom out, just in case I need to look for it again. What did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I did do this, right? I did do this. Yes, I did do this. I did do this right. So it looks fluffy, which is important. It looks fluffy. It has a different point of view looking towards the... Uh, it does have a different feel on the birds kind of view. Yes. Good. Now I only need to figure out what I'm going to do next. So there's gonna be again over here. There's gonna be another, and then I need to make sure that I have like this. Um... Oh yes, yes, please. Gypsy sauce is good. It sounds like if you visit visit uh, Europe, I I should pay you. Uh, I I should pay you to be my tour guide just because you know all the delicacies. Yeah, you could you could actually do that. I know. Most of the delicacies in most countries. I have been in Europe for. I've been in France. I have been in Czechia. In Czechia, I have been in Denmark. I have been in. Uh, in Norway. I have been in. Germany. I have been in Ireland. I have been in. Uh, France. I have been in Portugal. I have been in. Have I been in Italy? No, I have not been in Italy. I have been in Dubai though, but that's not in Europe. So yeah, I have been in a lot of countries. An excellent food guide, yes. Totally totally ask me if things are edible. That 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 works always. Like, hey, is this food that you are trying to eat edible? And I'm saying like, yes, maybe not for you, but yes. <laughs> it's edible if you're brave enough. <laughs> I still need to I still need to have that goat. Oh, I still need to have the uh 
what do we do call that one? The uh, uh, the ones with uh, oh, I'm not, I'm forgetting this one. God damn it! I don't want to forget that one. Uh, haggis. Yes, I still need to have that one. I still need to find out how that one tastes. So yes, I still need to find out how haggis tastes. So I'm gonna be looking forward to that. So yeah, that's the thing that I want to taste. Haggis. If I'm correct, I'm spelling that out. So yeah, I'm still wanting to test that one out. So yeah. Um. How long are we doing this already? Oh, one hour. Jeez, why am I? Why is this so long taking? Oh yeah, because I had to redesign the whole thing. So yeah. Mm, allow me to just take a look for it for for once. All right. So, uh, this looks way much better than before. It's now way more fuzzy than before. So I'm very happy. If you came to South uh, America. America South. Would you try Mountain o Oysters? Hint. Very misleading name. Mountain Oysters. Wait, there are Mountain Oysters. I think they are called. I think it, I know what they are. Oh yes, yes, I would, I would, I would try them. I would definitely try them. Why? Because I always are in for not thing. I have eaten these things. Remember, I have eaten these things. Uh, fried chicken feet. I have eaten these things. Remember. Uh, but there he is. I have eaten these things. I have eaten these things. Remember the bo the bloody damn chicken, chicken, the chick, the chicken legs. Yes, I have eaten those. So yeah, I have eaten, I have eaten chick, uh, chicken feet. So yeah, I don't mind if I do try to taste mountain oysters. So uh, no, 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 chicken feet. Chicken feet, yes. I have tried these. I have tried these. These were so good. If they are done well, oh my, yes. Mmm, just beautiful looking. Yeah, chicken feet. Recipe for great chicken feet. Yes, you need green pepper for it. You need spicy food with it. It's so good. It's so good. But yeah, that's in Indonesia. So I have tried a lot of things and. Uh, <laughs> Ever eaten a black pudding? No, I have not. I he uh I have heard they are actually very good. And uh, let's talk about Gwen getting really hungry, and I'm not be able to eat anything for at least another hour or so because of class. Ah, uh, shoot! Just sneak it in. Just sneak it in, man. Just sneak it in. Uh, that's how I always do it. Just sneak in the just sneak in every single thing. Um so allow me to just double check. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. I only use chicken feet in the soup to make a stock. Yeah, but you can also eat them with chili sauce, which is quite good. I always freak out when eat people eating insects. I have eaten fried grasshoppers once. They taste like nothing but protein. Yeah they that that's the whole thing about insects. They taste really well. I think salted ones are actually quite quite tasty because then they taste like salt. But eh, they are they are edible. Let's put it that way. If you ever have oysters, then you know you're you're literally just dr uh, dr you're literally just eating a raw egg. You know, just a fresh egg, clumping it down, and then be like, hmm. Lovely. That's that's how oysters taste like. They absolutely taste like nothing. So that's why you have the lemon always with you. I also love uh, fish, so don't worry about that. I'm the same. I try the most things, but the only thing I uh, uh, I have done a hard nope to was eyeballs. 
Oh, damn. Yeah. That's actually a quite good thing. I think I will skip on that too. Why? Because it looks at me. Well, lobsters also look at you. And crab look at you. And fish look at you. And they all taste the same. They all taste good. But you, if you really need to eat the eyeball though. Uh, maybe no to that. Pure utility food. <laughs> yeah, they reveal the location of the enemy. Definitely. So, uh, anyway, um, I think I will round it up right here. Uh, thank you so very much for uh, coming to the stream again. And uh, I hope you all enjoy a nice, uh, nice day. And I wish you all the best of luck with whatever you're doing. And until then. Bye.